Hello, my name is Aurika Savitskaita. I'm a co-founder of HelmetBasedVentilation.com. In this video, I will show you two hoods made by the company located in the southern part of India, Phoenix Medical Systems. The hoods are Haven hoods. Here is the team uh, of the, develop the developers, engineers, who made not just the hood, but also other devices that can be used to fight the COVID pandemic. In this picture, you can see uh, the training uh, for the non-invasive ventilation or the CPAP hood uh, in a hospital. This is the patient who is using the CPAP hood, uh, non-invasive ventilation, and uh, uh, as I heard, uh, they've been used for over 100 patients now in India. So here in my hands, I have uh, um, the simpler version of the hood. Uh, that's the one without the zipper. Uh, what I wanted to mention, it is uh, um, very good quality. Uh, plastic, clear plastic. I don't feel any odor, any smell of glue uh, or anything that can irritate the patient because uh, they may use it for a long period of time. So uh, it is one piece, it is soft, there is no plastic ring. The neck color uh, material is different, it's very stretchy, easy to stretch. Uh, so the application uh, should be not an issue. Also, the neck opening is offset to the back of the hood, so it will give more comfort for the patient when he or she is laying back in the bed and also it will prevent uh, leaks. Now, the neck sizing is very similar to the other hoods on the market. So it has the lines and in their insert, you can count the lines and cut the line uh, based on the measurements of your patient's neck. So for example, this hood is a small size. If you will count the lines, you will know how many, you know, what, what's the size for the neck uh, it's gonna fit. Um, so I will go to the next model, which is the hood with the zipper. So what is nice about the zipper? So you, the clinicians can access patient's uh, face in seconds, and it's a big benefit. It will uh, help the staff to provide uh, faster, better care, and also the patient will feel less anxious when they know that there is a quick access if they need to have anything to be done. So um, this is uh, the zipper, and as you can see, it's not easy, easy to open or close uh, because it's very tight, and it's tight to make sure that there is no ear leaks. Uh, as you know, we wanted to minimize air leaks for many reasons. Uh, one of them, we wanted to pro provide a high quality, uh, non-invasive positive pressure ventilation for the patient. And also we want to prevent from uh, um, aerialization of the virus. In this case, I'm talking about the COVID patients. Um, so this hood came in a um, kit that included the inlet port had a dead space, filter, venturi valve, oxygen tubing, and also the flow, uh, flow meter that you can use and you just plug it in the wall. So that's a nice uh, you know, feature about this kit that you don't have to go around and look for the supplies. You can just have everything in one um, place. Uh, and then uh, the outlet port, again, has a dead space with the filter and um, feed valve. With in, in a drinking port uh, or patient access port, we have a one-way valve um, uh, uh, cap that easy fits in and out. Now, why do we use the dead space on the inlet and outlet ports? It's for the patient comfort again. 
because it will not um, press on the chest uh, the uh, filters or the peep valve when it's a little bit farther away and it's flexible and soft. The underarm straps are connected to the helmet and it has a, just a simple, you know, click on, click off uh, connector. It's easy to adjust. And uh, we know it is very important to adjust these uh, underarm straps to prevent the air leaks around the uh, neck area. Another great accessory is made by this company is the anti-asphyxiation valve. Uh, this is a separate um, a part that can be attached to the patient access port. And when you in, uh, inflate the helmet, you want to make sure that you pull the spring out so the helmet gets pressurized. In case there is an issue with the flow or the pressure, the valve will open and the patient will get ambient air. But the most important thing is to make sure that patient gets his or her non-invasive positive pressure ventilation treatment. So uh, you want to fix the issue uh, fast to make sure that therapy is delivered appropriately. Uh, also, uh, in the kit we have uh, the flow meter. So it's nice that everything is in one piece. Also the Venturi valve and it has some uh, uh, directions, you know, what the flow should be uh, to reach certain amount of FiO2 uh, that patient will require. Uh, again, the earplugs. Some patient will use it, some won't. Uh, as you can see in this uh, setting, we have, um, we have uh, antibacterial, antiviral filters on the both ends, inlet and outlet. So the inlet uh, um, with the filter will reduce the noise in the helmet. Again, it will depend on how high the flow is, uh, but the filter here will work as a muffler and the filter at the, on the outlet side will filter out uh, virus or bacteria. So it will reduce uh, the spread of the virus in the environment. All right, so uh, I'm going to put the helmet on now. All right, so I have an airflow here, so I'm going to just uh, disconnect the inlet port and connect my uh, airflow here. Okay, you wanna make sure that you connect your flow, you connect your outlet, you uh, have a cap on your patient access port so there will be no leaks on this side. You set your peep as desired, so I'm gonna put it on the lowest peep right now for myself. Uh, and you wanna make sure before um, putting the helmet on the patient that the helmet has no leaks. So I'm closing now the zipper. I'm holding here, I'm gonna close the next one, and you can see how it inflates. I don't, and it's pressurized, so there are, I don't see any leaks in the helmet itself. Now, um, open and close the zipper a couple times, to make sure that it works well. And uh, before putting on the patient, you want to make sure the, US, the zipper is open, okay? Your underarm straps are open here. You want to uh, have two clinicians to put the helmet on the patient. They have to stretch that from our sides. I'm just going to do that myself. And again, this neck seal is really soft. All right, so it is definitely my size uh, uh, helmet. Uh, you wanna make sure you get all, all the hair uh, because it feels very nice and snug around my neck. It doesn't press at all. So you see, I can put my fingers easily here. Uh, I can already feel the flow in my face. So it's kind of refreshing. 
when everything is ready, you can already clip your underarm straps. And if you need more cushion for your underarms, you can use uh, like a rolled towel or other soft material to make sure that the patient doesn't get uh, skin irritations or skin breakdown. Okay, so clip on. And now, when everything is ready, when the patient is ready, we can close the zipper. Just hold it here on one side. As you can see, the zipper is very convenient. I can open it in um, seconds, uh, even by myself. So even if the patient will feel uncomfortable in the helmet uh, or feel uh, anxious, he, can, he knows that he can or she can open the zipper right away. So I'm gonna take this off. I want to say thank you to Phoenix Medical Systems for creating Haven Hood and other accessories that can be used for non-invasive positive pressure ventilation. Also, I'm happy to hear that a lot of patients are using the helmet-based ventilation in India. So I want to wish you a lot of luck and more inventions to fight this pandemic. Thank you.